With us today is uh, Professor Anis Beratarevic, who is Professor of International Law and Global Strategies. He just published a book in English and Bosnia, and I had the pleasure to host his visit to the Bosnian Valley of the Pyrenees today. Uh, of course, the time was short, just four or five hours. We would need at least a couple of three days to visit majority of locations, but at least with what he saw, I'd like him to tell us about his impressions. Mm -hmm. Thank you, for, uh, Professor Samuel. Uh, in, indeed, I, I just came. The, the, the main reason of coming uh, uh, here to Bosnia is actually promotion of my book. Uh, since I live in Vienna, it's not that far, so, 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 so it's, uh, it's just uh, some couple of hours of drive. And uh, um, I was very impressed because uh, uh, Professor Semmer was taking us personally to, for a guide tour, and that's always a, a special honor or privilege to, to have him personally. Uh, and I benefited not, not only from, from the site and, and from the new discoveries and excavations, but also from his enthusiasm and, and optimism that he so indispensably shares and, and uh, with, with everyone. You know? So you, you, you get, you get, of course, from the from the all setting, you get the energy, but also his personal, his human energy. So it's it's a double uh, energy uh, engine that you are getting. Uh, so of course, the, our scientific community is divided over the question which I will purposely avoid here. So, so here is not a question whether there are pyramids or there are no pyramids. I think the fundamental question is that we have to accept uh, a notion that, that there is a, 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 the, the, the different past, or at least the, uh, our interpretation and our attitude towards the past could be different or could be more complex. Then, then, then we are perceiving in, in a very simplified way, especially how we taught our, our kids. And I'm always getting those kids at the age of 18, 19, so I, I know how poor and, and how, uh, uh, how trivial knowledge becomes with every generation that comes to university, and how we are turning actually science, be it history or other sciences, into exegesis, into blind belief and how actually scientific communities are closing themselves in the obscurity and, and some sort of nearly a, a little religious groups. You know. So it becomes more a religion than the empirically proven and disproven uh, uh, science, which every science should, should be about. Uh, so, so I'm not going into this direction, of course, but as I said, so, so different past makes actually a possibility that we could be all living different futures. And what, unfortunately, we, since I'm, I'm dealing with the geopolitics, which is a very conservative, very much observing, slow observing discipline, what we are seeing in today's world, that after the end of the, the Cold War, we are unfortunately now offered with a little bit of sin. So after 25 years of strategic pause, we are returning and we are, we are offered actually for another confrontation or another round of confrontation and of, of, of carbons. And I think that all of us deserve some other presence, not only presence, but, but the future. So if we uh, accept and acknowledge ourselves that the different, that, that different interpretation of past or different past exists or different interpretation is possible, then we are already pretty advanced in a building up different, the different future. And, and I think the news on this uh, this is the biggest excavation site uh, uh, and biggest revelation that we can all achieve here in this circle. And then we are coming, of course, to uh, uh, artifacts, understanding, measuring, and, and all other scientific, very painful, very tedious uh, details that we are coming. And then finally we can decide whether there is something that constitutes the right to be called pyramids or not. But as I said, we. Uh, we should we should first and most of all avoid making a priori this question or or answering this question to be precise. So so before uh, this question, actually we should answer so many answers and enthusiasm of people that are working, of good news that are coming from Bosnia, of someone who is very persistent, who is very uh, self-acclaimed and, and very assured person. 
uh, like like Professor Sandler, from whom we can all learn so much. You know, if you believe in something, you are very persistent. You 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 follow your own direction, your own way. So answering or going back to the Jewish wisdom, you know, so so the final you know, the Jews are telling, okay, life is not a destination, but but, but the path, a uh, road. Okay. So, so <clears throat> answering for ourselves all those questions, then in the end, the question if there are pyramids were here or not becomes nearly obsolete, you know. And this is actually also the way how we, how we are wrongly perceiving our civilization, uh, a role of technology that we all uh, would like to uh, use for enhancement of civilization or, or humankind, but, but we, we essentially we are not doing this. And did you want to talk about your book? Maybe you could hold your book up so they know what your book okay. looks like. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Sure. So that's yeah. That's that's essentially a book. I think that's no, no, no. we put we put the English one. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it's in English and yes, it's, it's in the same book. Exactly. exactly. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. Because I'm writing in English. Mm, good.